Hi, hope you are doing great today. Let us talk about Keynes Technologies latest quarterly performance. First we look at quarter over quarter results and hence we will be comparing quarter 4 of fiscal year 2025 with quarter 3 of the same fiscal. We will also be doing a comparison with quarter 4 of fiscal year 2024 to get the year over year comparison. So looking at it sequentially the company has shown strong momentum in several key areas. There's a clear growth in operational profitability and they have been doing the groundwork to secure future business. That's a big positive. But it's not all smooth sailing. There's one area that stood out and needs a bit of unpacking a sharp jump in expenses, particularly under the other expenses category, quarter on quarter. We'll come back to that later. So first let's walk through the key moments, the strong points. Let's look at where Keynes really stepped up this quarter. The numbers speak for themselves and they are quite impressive. First off, the company delivered a big surge in operational EBITDA. EBITDA rose from 66.2 crores in quarter 3 to a solid 167.9 crores in quarter 4 of fiscal year 2025. That's more than 2.5 times growth quarter on quarter. EBITDA was up by 76% year over year from 95.2 crores in quarter 4 of fiscal year 2024 to 167.9 crores in quarter 4 of fiscal year 2025. This is a clear sign of improved execution and operational efficiency in the final quarter of last fiscal. So with that jump in EBITDA margins followed suit. The EBITDA margin expanded from 14.2% in quarter 3 to 17.1% in quarter 4. So that's an impressive 300 basis point increase quarter over quarter. The EBITDA margin was 14.9% in quarter 4 of fiscal year 2024. So with 17.1% in quarter 4 of last fiscal, that is fiscal year 2025, we saw a year over year big jump of 211 basis points in margins. So Keynes was not just growing but also doing it profitably. Now let's talk about the order book, the order pipeline. The consolidated order book rose from 6047 crores at the end of quarter 3 to 6597 crores at the end of quarter 4. So looks like they have some strong deal wins going on and there is a steady inflow of new business for the firm. If you look at the pace of the new orders, the monthly order inflow improved from 428 crores in quarter 3 to 511 crores in quarter 4. That's a healthy uptick showing that demand is rising and Keynes is doing a good job of capturing it. Now let us look at the revenue growth. The quarter 4 fiscal year 2025 revenue stood at 984.5 crores. That's a 54% year over year growth over quarter 4 of fiscal year 2024. This suggests that the company closed the year on a very strong note. The quarter 4 fiscal year 2025 PAT was 116.2 crores, a rise of 43% when compared with 81.3 crores PAT recorded in quarter 4 of the FI24, which is the previous fiscal. In quarter 4 FI25, the PAT margin dropped by 95 basis points year over year, down to 11.8% from 12.8% in quarter 4 FI24. We'll talk about reasons for this dip in margins later. In short, Keynes delivered a powerful finish to FI25 with the profitability up, orders raising and execution on point. Next, let us look at the cost side of the story, the weak points because that's where some of the red flags popped up. Now while operational performance was solid, one area did raise concerns and that was sharp increase in other expenses. Other expenses jumped from 52 crores in quarter 3 to 101.4 crores in quarter 4 of FI25. That's a sequential quarter on quarter increase of over 95%. So some investors have raised concerns about it. Management addressed this during the earnings call and here is what they said. Part of the spike in other expenses was due to reclassification of certain costs. Specifically, some consumables and input costs that would normally be part of the bill of materials were shown under other expenses. So this is more of an accounting shift, not a sudden rise in spending. 
The rest of the increase in expenses was intentional linked to upfront investments. These costs were incurred to build capacity and to prepare for two or three large global engagements expected in FI26. In other words, Keynes was getting ready for major future business. They didn't go into deep line item detail, but the overall context is clear. These were strategic costs either due to accounting treatment or planned spending for future growth. So while this spike looks concerning on the surface, the explanation suggests that it's part of company's growth preparation phase. If you have been with me so far, you may be interested in our flagship course on one of the sunrise sectors, which is semiconductors. When some of us hear the word semiconductors, we think too technical, not for me. But smart investors know this. Semiconductors are the new oil. From smartphones to AI, EVs to defense, cloud computing to modern healthcare, chips power everything today. Global investors who spotted this early made serious wealth from companies like Nvidia, TSMC, MediaTek, Qualcomm, SK Hynix, Samsung and Applied Materials. These are big names now and have turned into multi-baggers over the last decade or so. Now here is the exciting part. India is entering this game right now. Government has a massive outlay of 10 billion US dollars for Semicon India program. That's easily the highest incentive announced for any sector here in India. Big players like the Tatas, Adanis, Vedanta, HCL and some smaller ones too like CG Power, Keynes, Dixon are all eyeing this opportunity. They are setting up chip manufacturing, packaging and design hubs. So we spent nearly two months researching and breaking down this complex industry and then built this course that explains it all simply and clearly from an investor's angle. You learn how the chip manufacturing, packaging and design industry works, where India fits in, which Indian and global stocks are worth tracking and how to avoid the hype manage the risks and spot the real opportunity in this sector. Check the link to our course on semiconductors in the description or in the pinned comment below. Thank you. Overall, Keynes Technology delivered a strong sequential performance from quarter three to quarter four of fiscal year 2025. We saw impressive growth in EBITDA and a solid improvement in EBITDA margins along with continued momentum in order book inflows, all signaling robust execution and future readiness. Now let us talk about Keynes Technologies performance for the full fiscal year 2025 compared to fiscal year 2024, the previous fiscal. We'll walk you through the overall picture, highlight the strong points first. Then we'll look at areas that need attention and touch on how the management is addressing them. Looking back at FI25, Keynes Technology delivered a year of strong broad-based growth compared to FI24. There were significant jumps across key financial metrics which includes revenue, EBITDA and profit after tax or PAT. The order book also saw a substantial increase giving a clear sign of strong business momentum. Having said that, the year wasn't without its challenges. There were some shifts in working capital, an increase in net debt and upfront investments that impacted metrics like asset turnover. We'll look at them in detail later in this video. For Keynes Technology, FI25 was about accelerated growth, capacity building and laying the foundation for future opportunities. So here is where we see the strength of management's execution and strategy come through in FI25 compared to FI24. We saw excellent revenue growth in the last fiscal. The total revenue from operations for FI25 stood at 2721.8 crores, a 51% year over year increase from 1804.6 crores in FI24. So this reflects good progress in scaling the business. There was robust growth in EBITDA and PAT growth as well. The operational EBITDA for FI25 rose by 62%, reaching 410.7 crores up from 254.2 crores in FI24. Profit after tax also saw solid growth up 60% to 293.4 crores from 183.3 crores. So the fact that bottom line is growing faster than the top line shows the company is on the right track. 
we saw improvement in both operating and net profit margins. EBITDA margin rose by 101 basis points, moving from 14.1% in FI24 to 15.1% in FI25. The PAT margin improved by 62 basis points, rising from 10.2% to 10.8%. The good news is that management expects this margin expansion trend to continue going forward. The consolidated auto book increased sharply from 4,115 crores at the end of FI24 to 6,597 crores by the end of FI25. That's a 60% jump. This shows there is a strong future revenue visibility and sustained market demand. In the last fiscal, Keynes Technology did significant investment in capacity. The gross block or the tangible assets more than doubled from 368 crores in FI24 to 789.5 crores in FI25. The company says it is committed to capacity building to serve large global clients and to expand into new business verticals. So while the overall growth story was strong, there are a few areas from the full year performance that deserve closer attention. Some of these points were brought up by investors in the earnings conference call. So these concerns were addressed by the management during the earnings call and they shared their plans to tackle each issue in the presentation. We'll briefly touch upon these points here, but a detailed discussion on investor concerns and challenges and risks that Keynes Technology faces will be covered in my next video. The big concern was consolidated net debt, which rose sharply from 2017.7 crores at the end of March 2024 to 681.3 crores by March 2025. As a result, the net debt to equity ratio moved up from 0.1 to 0.2. This indicates higher borrowing relative to equity. The finance costs also increased significantly, rising by 91% year-over-year in FI25 to 101.3 crores. According to the management, the rise in debt and finance costs is tied to strategic investments in fixed assets. These were made to build capacity ahead of anticipated large global contracts, particularly for their OSAT and HDI PCB projects. FI25 also saw higher net working capital days. The net working capital days increased from 83 in FI24 to 87 days in FI25. This was mainly due to rise in inventory days which went up from 59 to 84 and payable days from 73 to 88. Even though the receivables days improved slightly from 97 to 91. The management did acknowledge that working capital has not come down as expected despite some inventory reduction. The last fiscal also saw a notable increase in other current assets. The raise in other current assets and working capital days were linked to receivables from a smart meter business that they acquired. The management said that the contracts of the acquired firm had pre-agreed delayed payment terms which Keynes was required to follow after the acquisition. Going forward though, management said the new orders in this subsidiary will be on a full payment basis. The receivables from the acquired business also contribute to the negative cash flow from operations which stood at minus 8.2 crores for FI25. Management has also committed to improving working capital in FI26 through a few other steps that we will talk about in my next video. The next concern which was raised was decrease in asset turnover ratio. The asset turnover ratio declined from 4.9x in FI24 to 3.4x in FI25. Again this was mainly because of large upfront investments in fixed assets. You can see this in the sharp increase in gross block. Because of this the asset utilization appeared lower in the short term. The other expenses rose by 98% year over year, reaching 233.3 crores in FI25. The sharp rise in other expenses during FI25 was explained by management as partly due to reclassification. Again, some consumables and input costs were shown under this line and, and also partly due to strategic upfront costs incurred due to buffer capacity and also to prepare for global client engagements in FI26. So these were intentional moves to support anticipated future business. 
But even with that explanation, the size of the increase in other expenses is quite big. In quarter four of FI25, the PAT margin dropped by 95 basis points year on year, down to 11.8% from 12.8% in quarter four FI24. This quarterly dip was flagged as a point to watch closely. The management said that while quarter four PAT margin saw a slight year on year dip, the full year PAT margin actually increased and they remain confident about margin expansion ahead. In fact, management has gone on record to say that a 200 basis points margin expansion is feasible over the next few years. We look at a few reasons for this management confidence in the upcoming video. Some investors raise concerns about the delays in smart meter business execution. Management did acknowledge the delay in execution of smart meter business at the new Hyderabad facility. They explicitly stated that they are now confident that the issue has been resolved. This delay in execution was cited as the primary reason for them missing a previously stated revenue guidance that they had for the firm. So overall FI25 was a year of robust growth for Keynes technology backed by surging order book and strong operational performance. But at the same time there were some challenges. These were mainly around increased leverage and working capital pressure. Both were driven by strategic investments and impact of terms from recently acquired businesses. Management has shared clear action plans to deal with these issues. They remain confident about the way forward. We will take a closer look at those plans in the upcoming video. So make sure you stay subscribed if you want to be notified when it is posted. Looking ahead, Keynes Technology is banking on a mix of high margin orders, new business verticals and improved operational efficiency to sustain growth and expand margins in the coming years. We look at how they would be achieving this in detail in the upcoming videos. Thank you.